Lot number 18, yes, Ratish. Good morning to one and all present air. I am Ratish. Today I am here to give you a speech on topic, don't judge a book by its cover. This is an age-old attach that I am quite sure that everyone is familiar with. This is a proverb, does it also self-explanatory. Outfit cannot defend your correct one. Every book is not boring. But if you see the cover and think that the cover is boring, and so the book is boring, so that you can miss wonderful stories. If cover is not impressive, if does it means the book is not worthy, Props are says based on common sense and experience. We won't have the sense to estimate the difference between correct or incorrect. The same is to be with people. Duly, if the person is not attracted by look, it doesn't mean that he or she is not nice by heart. You also react twice by seeing a book cover. Change your mind for a second. Give one minute for your book. If there is some amazing stories, it can change your mind. Physicking a person based on their physical appearance, be it good or bad, it is very wrong thing to do. Stereotype of dumb blender is an excellent example of this too. Every soul has its journey. Don't judge based on your own. If you don't know them, don't judge them. You have not lived their life. Don't judge others by their mistakes, but by how they have learned from them. When you judge someone, it doesn't define the person that you are judging, it defines you. The English idiom, don't judge the book by its cover, is a phrase. That means one should not judge worth or value of something or someone by their outer appearance alone. It means that we must not underestimate anyone based on their look. In fact, teeth and the character of the person matter the most. For instance, if you look at a good looking person, you can only see a skin color, physical structure and maybe fashion. But what about beyond that? What happens if the good looking person turns out to be horrible in nature? What if they lack any real talent or skill? Thus, the outer appearance can be misleading. On the other hand, something which may not possess beautiful feature may have much more value. From a president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela said that don't judge me by my successes. Judge me by how many times I failed and then got back up again. In business, it can be economically dangerous to make a snap judgment. Snap judgment. Uh, someone looks what they are wearing the car they are driving, etc, etc. The founder of Walmart, Sam Walton, used to drive a pickup truck. He didn't look like a man who was worth billions of dollars. How many times did he fool people? It is an assuming look. It was not intentional. It was just who he was. Robert J. Moore, the founder of Magnetic Entrepreneur, has a history of being in and out of prison. He also lived seven years on this street, but he is now known globally of its branding through Empower Consulting and Publishing. To conclude, beware, so long as you live of judging men by their outward appearance alone. Never judge someone without knowing whole story. You may you think you understand, but you don't. So don't judge a book by its cover. Thank you. Superb dear. You just keep pushing and keep trying. Then eventually you will reach your goal.